Hey everybody, welcome to 9 Parker Avenue in Ancaster. This home is finished 5,000 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. Come on in, let's have a look. Welcome inside. First thing we're gonna point out is this. We don't know for sure, but this is probably heated and it's pretty freaking awesome. Don't you think? Yeah, I think it's pretty freaking awesome to cut into the, the hardwood like that and have the tile entrance and to have it heated, I think is a pretty awesome feature. And let's point out something while we're here. You're going to see all around the house, little pieces of blue tape. It's a brand new house. They're still making corrections. You'll even see some paint missing in a few areas, but just forget about it. They're not even there. And as always, we'll start in the dining room. Have a look. Awesome, come on in the kitchen, let's have a look. Awesome stainless steel sink, built into the countertop. I really like when builders choose to do this and finishing this with the granite rather than having it wood. What are your thoughts on that? Really ties it together. Cool, and built-in dishwasher matching the cabinet, absolutely stunning. I'm a big fan of the colored island like if you take a look at the cabinets right now and they're all white yeah really really nice contrast tons and tons and tons of storage in this kitchen where's the fridge it's over here we're getting there we're almost there uh kelsey's favorite item in the home the necessary pot filler i don't know who's actually using it but it is there and we're thermidor appliances throughout again here Awesome six burner stove. Tons more storage. Awesome. With some pull out drawers, making access really, really easy. And the fridge is right here. That is awesome. Wow. Yeah, I definitely want one of those. Cool. Uh, microwave. Water setup, possibly coffee, not really sure. Yeah. If you don't have this, I don't know who you are. Awesome wine fridge built in, tons of storage. And again with the pull out drawers, keep everything really clean and seamless. Okay, let's spin around and have a look in the living room. Built-in fireplace. I'm not exactly sure of this stone, but if I can guess, it's marble. Incredible. Yeah, and, and the echo is pretty cool. Why don't you have a look up? Really, really tidy chandelier. Really makes this whole room awesome. Also, I'm a huge fan of these chairs. Like, aren't you? Yeah, that's very you. Isn't it? Like not really comfortable, they look cool, yeah. right? That's yeah. definitely, Very good. yeah, it's definitely me. Cool. Okay, onwards. Mudroom, nothing too fancy here, but tons and tons more clean storage. Cute floors? Maybe, maybe <laughs> not. Poke your head in here really quick. Great spot to sit down, put your coats on, put your shoes on, etc. And then huge, and last room on the main floor is the office. Sort of over in this wing of the house over here, you definitely have tons of privacy over here. I love this color. It pretty much it almost matches your pants, but it's a little different. Yeah, super private space to come and get your work done and avoid the family. And definitely you've got a nice view. Pretty reasonable backyard for here in, in Ancaster. Two huge sliding doors lead you to a concrete patio. And you can see somewhere right there is a built-in fireplace. And they've got the TV mounts up on the stone as well. You set up a nice little TV area out there in the summertime. 
Last thing on the main floor. I'll let you poke your head in there. Two-piece bathroom. Welcome upstairs. When we were here walking through earlier, we were voting on what everyone's thoughts were on this textured wall feature in the staircase. Kelsey doesn't like it. I'm on the fence about it. It's different. You might like it, you might not. Door number one, super uneventful. No, just some, just some storage at the top of the stairs. Bedroom number one, pretty good size. We've got closet here, nothing really fancy in there. We don't need to have a look. This one's got its own ensuite. Oh. Yeah. And throughout the home, like many others that are built in 2022 or newer, you see tons of these really nice built-in vents. Bedroom number two. And this is definitely my favorite colors for a bathroom. Maybe because it is navy blue and gold and that matches my logo. I'm not really sure, but... And then you've got your own bathroom and shower with closable door. You never know when you need a little privacy from sound. You never know. So these are definitely heated floors. Yeah, floors are set to 76. Really like my feet are so toasty right now. I don't really want to leave this room, but we're going to have to. Uh, we're actually going to open up this door into another bedroom. Really nice, clean storage put in each bedroom. Lots of space. We're back in the hallway. Let's head down to the master. How awesome is this? Huge master. Another thing we're going to point out throughout the home is these huge windows. We'll see it in the basement a little bit more. Oh man. I don't really need to say anything in this one. Like, like, like you could keep people in here. It's crazy. Outside in the bathroom. Oh, wow. Soaker tub. Again, my feet are so toasty. Heated floors. A couple of different shower heads. There's actually three in here. One. Two, three, you, you never know how dirty things are gonna get. Well, you're definitely gonna get clean in that shower. And again, with the private water closet area. One more cool thing in this bathroom that we don't see often, look at these faucets. I don't even really know, like, which, how do I make it hot? I feel like it needs an instruction manual, but it's super, super fancy. Another great feature, no handles, really, really clean, soft clothes. Last thing upstairs as we head back into the hallway. Lots of bedrooms, lots of people, lots of laundry, really convenient. Now we're in the basement. This is a huge, huge rec room, awesome built-in fireplace. Again, like outside and on the main floor, everything's wired in, ready to go for your TV. On this side, we've got a full wet bar. So much space, keep your tequila or whatever it is you wanna drink. Another little wine fridge, and again, more storage, yeah. Awesome. Kelsey's always making fun of me for this being my favorite room in the house. 
but nice. it's really clean and neat. Mass, look at the size of the water tank, it's massive. And heated floor here. You can feel, can you feel it on your feet? No. Heated floor? Yeah, definitely heated floor running through these pipes. Wow. Yeah, pretty sick. Yeah. Okay, onward. This is where I would spend tons of time if I owned this home. This is a rubber floor. This would be where you'd have your gym. And, you know, I'd be on the elliptical or the treadmill. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, let's do examples. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't see that happening. <laughs> uh, I mentioned the windows when we were in the master bedroom. Being in the basement, we've got nine foot ceilings throughout the basement. And these huge, huge windows that if you had to escape, it would be absolutely no problem. Let's in tons of natural light. Just such a nice add-on than the shoebox windows we normally see. Okay, let's keep going. We've got a full bath in there. And kind of an odd feature, but in case you're having a shower and you need to get something out of the cold cellar, you, your dried meats or your canned goods, you can just, it's a quick reach from the shower or the toilet seat. <laughs> yeah, if you're hungry, if you want some, you know, shower beer, prosciutto or something like that, I, I don't know. Whatever you have drying. And then the last bedroom, this one could definitely use a lighting upgrade. This just isn't bright enough. And we've got nice big closet here. Again, with the huge windows. And the last thing we'll do is electrical panel. I don't love the location of this one being in the bedroom, but the installation and the fit and finish of this, I think is fantastic. I can clearly see the label, the cables are all labeled. Uh, I love it. Thanks everybody for joining me or joining us today on this tour of Nine Parker Avenue in Ancaster. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any further questions about the house, don't hesitate to reach out. And again, big thank you to the listing agent, Vince, for letting us through to shoot some content today. We, we always really appreciate that. And I've got another appointment to get to, so I'm closing the door and you guys need to get out of here. So like, get out, like get out.